Oh, hallelujah to God be the praise and the glory. As we are kicking off and starting our service, I want us to begin with the word of prayer. Father, receive the glory, receive the praise, receive the honor from our from our hearts. Data achiri shimwe achiri kuzo achira guhimba zgua bivu ya mundi mazimiti maya tru. We humbly exhort you. We humbly bow before you to magnify your name, Jesus. Mana ya tru duchiye bugufi tujimbere ya masuya we kujira ngizi na dijawe turishire hejuru. Let your kingdom come and your will be done. Let us bow before you and let you be magnified above all the heavens and the earth. As we are starting our service and as we are sharing your word, it's my prayer that you may anoint us, Lord. Anoint my lips with grace and let me speak words of encouragement, words of wisdom, Words of transformation. Mana tu tangi yeyi ayamatera niro du tangi ye kumvijambo na sense ngusiga mavuta unsiga mavuta ya we usiga mavuta we kumunwa wange vugi jambo ri kome zaba anu vugi jambo ri bateri hunga vugi jambo ri ba Hindu ramga mitguzu yubgenje bga we. In the same way, I'm praying for the listeners. I'm praying for the viewers, the followers. Bless them, touch them, ignite the fire that is on the inside of them by your word. Your kingdom come and your will be done. After all has been said and done, we promise to give back the glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. To God be the praise and the glory. This is yet another wonderful evening. We are now beginning our Friday service. You all know we, we always have our... Uh, online services, Wednesday, Friday evening from 6 o'clock. Please come. And on Sunday in the morning from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. So you are most welcome, each one of you that has just joined us. You are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Jubilee Revival Assembly. We are welcoming you to Jubilee Revival Assembly. In our online service. In our online uh, preaching. It's, it's also my request to you to share the link with your friends. And colleagues. May the Lord richly bless you. So in the next in the next few moments, I'm going to be uh, sharing the word with, uh, which the Lord has placed upon my heart. And thereafter. We will be giving our tithes and offerings and uh, sowing our seeds in the house of the Lord. May the Lord bless you abundantly as we go together. You remember that we are, we, 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 we are 
In the book of Psalms, chapter 23. And our sermon, the title of our message, it says, The Lord is my shepherd. Today we are looking at part three. The Lord is my shepherd, part three. So we, we, we started on this sermon series on Sunday, Wednesday. Today is a Friday. We are still on that. Hopefully, I will conclude on it on Sunday. So for those of you who have just joined us, you can go and check our other series, uh, sorry, uh, other sermons in this series. Uh, yes. And our last part, hopefully, will be on Sunday. So, uh, on Wednesday, uh, this Wednesday this week, I I talked about at least four things, uh, which the shepherd does uh, that uh, does for the sheep. We find them in this portion of scriptures. I was supposed to mention eight things. I only mentioned four. So let me mention the rest of the four. Number one. So let's, let's turn there and read from verse one. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Verse 2 says, He makes me lie down. You remember, I'm, uh, I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. He makes me lie down in fresh, tender green pastures. He leaves me beside the still and, re and uh, restful waters. Anjamisha muchanya chubgatsi utoshe wubisi anjana iruhande rwa mazi adasuma. Verse 3 says, he refreshes and restores my life, myself. He leads me in the path of righteousness, uprightness, and right standing with him, not for my earning, not for my earning it, but for his name's sake. Asubiza inheje mubujingo ganje, agasana umutima wanje, anyoborin zira yogu chira anuka, kujirango magara nenawe neza, kugi zinarje. So, on, on Wednesday, I was able to elaborate what the, the, the shepherd does for or to the sheep, and we find those things from verse 1 up to verse 3. So today I want us to see from verse 4 to verse 6. Verse 4 says, yeah. Though I walk through the deep, sunless valley of the shadow of death, I will fear or dread no evil, for you are with me, your rod to protect and your staff to guide, they comfort me. 
naho nanyura mu gikombe cy'igicucu cy'urupfu sinzatinya ikibi cyose kuko ndi kumwe nawe inkoni yawe ni yindinda ishimbo yawe ni yinkomeza verse 5 says you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my brimming cup runs over Ununganyiriza ameza mu maso yabanzi banje unsize amavuta mu mutwe igikombe cyanje kirasesekara Verse 6 says surely or only goodness mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life and through the length of my days the house of the lord and his presence shall be my dwelling place nukuri kugirirwa neza nimbabazi bizanyomaho iminsi yose inkiriho nanje nzaba mu nzu yuwiteka no mukubaho kuwiteka iteka ryose habu buturo bwanje blessed be the reading of the word of god hahabwe umugisha gusomwa ku ijambo ry'Imana last time i told you a few things uh, which we find in these scriptures which the, the the shepherd which the lord who is our shepherd does for us ubushize nababwiye ibintu byinshi bigaragara nk'ishingano z'umungeri ari we mana yacu ari we data wa twese atugirira i mentioned four navuze ho bine let me mention the rest of the four reka mvuge bine bisigaye so the fifth thing which the shepherd does iyindi shingano ya ka ya gatanu y'umungeri we find it in in verse 5 turayibona mu murongo wa gatanu remember go to our previous sermon to, to, to find the first four i want to go into into that okay kugira ngo umenye neza rero aho twatangiriye byaba byiza usubiye inyuma gatoya ukarebaho twahereye ku cyumweru no kwa gatatu kugira ngo umenye inshingano zabanje enye twavuzeho kugira ngo ukomerezeho kuri ya gatanu verse 5 says you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies Ununganyiriza ameza mu maso yabanzi banje You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies Utunganya utunganya ameza imbere yanje ukayantunganyiriza abanzi banje babibona I beg your pardon it, it has to be verse 4 Verse 4 says yes though I walk through the deep sunless valley of the shadow of death i will fear or dread no evil for you are with me your rod to protect and your staff to guide they comfort me kadusubira ku murongo wa kane niho dusangiye shingano ya gatanu naho nanyura mu gikombe cy'igicucu cy'urupfu sinzatinya ikibi cyose kuko ndi kumwe nawe Inshimbo yawe niyo indinda inkoni yawe ni yinyobora nibyo bimpumuriza Here the Bible mentions two things Muri uyu murongo dusangamo bibiri yatubwira ibintu bibiri One he mentions of the going through the valley of the shadow of death Hano turabonamo kunyura mu gikombe kiri mu gicucu cy'urupfu The second thing the Bible mentions is the fearing of no evil ikindi kuvuga muri uyu murongo kudatinya ikintu kibi cyari cyo cyose what does this signify ese bino bintu byombi birasobanura iki it signifies the protection of the shepherd bivuze kurindwa gushyirwaho umutekano numungeri it does not say that he will prohibit or he will avoid he will he will stop me from going through the shadow of the, of, of, of the valley of death uyu murongo nta gutubwira yuko imana izakurinda ikakubuza kunyura mu gikombe cy'igicucu cy'urupfu he will not 
stop you from going through. But as you are going through, he will protect you from all evil. So, the, the, the number five responsibility of the shepherd is his divine protection. How many of you have always gone through deep valleys? Actually, the, the, this translation says sunless uh, valleys. How many of you have gone through those things and you cannot even explain how you were able to, you managed to get out of them? Coronavirus is a shadow of death. How many of you have survived? You have actually some were infected and they are healed. Others were able to meet those who had been infected and uh, uh, you, 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 you were not infected yourself. What does that mean? There is a hand of protection, the hand of the Lord on your life. I like what the Bible says in the book of Job. The Bible says that when the sons of the Lord came together in the Lord's presence, and the devil appeared there, and then the Lord asked the devil, how comes you are here? Where are you coming from? He said, I have been roaming around the entire universe. And then the Lord continued to ask, have you seen my servant Job? He who respects and honors my word. And then the devil said, yes, I've seen him. He never denied that. He, he agreed, I have seen him. But the reason why he honors you is one. You have protected him. In fact, the Bible says you have put a hedge around him. So we have a hedge of the Lord's protection around us. The devil mentioned three things which the Lord hedged around, around in the case of Job. Uh -huh. You built a hedge around his life. That's number one. Number two, you built a hedge around his family. Number three, you built a hedge around his belongings, his possessions, his properties. So I, I have tried, that is the devil, I have tried all my best to touch his life to no avail, to touch, to touch his family, no avail, and to touch his belongings, I have not succeeded at all. Satan and Akomezam got Nigeria Jagufata Kubuzima Gayubu, Nabuzaho Mera, Nabuzinzira, Nigeria Jagufata Kumur Jangoe, Nabuzaho Mera, Nigeria Jagujera Kubutun Zibge, Urukutar Guan City, Nahona Menera. Let that be the case in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. You may be going through a dark valley of the shadow of death, 
but the devil will never succeed in bring down your life ushobora kuba urimo kunyura mu gikombe cy'igicucu cy'urupfu mu buzima bwawe ariko satani ntazigera gera ku ntego ye kugira ngo asenye ubuzima bwawe mu izina rya Yesu the lord is your protector imana niyo murinzi wawe he is your keeper niyo ikurinda he never sleeps never does he slumber Naga sinzira nta hunikira. He always watch over your life. Akubereye maso. Every single step you take is with you. Buri ntambwe yose utera Imana ibiri kumwe nawe. So never be afraid of anything from the devil. Ntuzagira ikintu cyose cy'umwanzu utinya. Always hold a shield of faith. It will it will drive off all the fiery darts from the enemy. We ukomeza ufata ingabo yo kwizera izatsinda imyambi yose y'umwanzi. So here back to the to the to the text the bible says though i walk through the the valley of the shadow of death naho nanyura mu gikombe cy'igicucu cy'urupfu so this is a reality of life ibi rero nukuri ku buzima ni ku buzima bumeze the lord may not protect you from going through the valley of the shadow of death but he will protect you in the valley of the shadow of death imana shobora kutakubuza kunyura muri cyo gikombe cy'urupfu ariko nuna kinyuramo izakikurindiramo remember what the bible says in the book of isaiah wibuka icyo bibiri yivuga muri yesaya i think this is 45 muri mirongo 45 if you go through the fire you will never be burnt haravuga ngo nunyura mu muriro umuriro ntuzakotsa if you go through the running waters they won't wash you away ngo nunyura mu mazi atemba ntabwo azagutemba the hand of jehovah will always be upon you to protect you ikiganza cy'imana kizahora ku buzima bwawe kugira ngo kigushirire ho uburinzi remember the three things that never mentioned wibuka ibintu bitatu satani yavugiye imana oh my god i Manayani. feel tempted to read there oh rimataka let's 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 open there reka tujye muri yubu because the devil knows he knows very well uh, he knows very well the areas where the lord the lord has built a hedge around our lives satan arabizi neza yuko imana ashizeho urukuta rw'uburinzi ku buzima bwacu okay let's go to the book the book of job tujye mu gitabo cy'ayubu chapter 1 ibice byaho mu gice cya mbere and we are going to read from verse Uh, verse, uh, verse, 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 I hope you are there. One day the angels, this one says the angels, another translation says the sons of God. One day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also came with them. Umunsi umwe abamarayika iravuga abana b'Imana ariko umunsi umwe abana b'Imana baje bashengere yuwiteka kandi satani yazanye nabo verse 7 murongo wa 7 the lord said to satan where do you come from satan answered answered the lord from roaming throughout the earth going back and forth on it uwiteka baza satani ati Ura uturutse he nuko satana asubiza uwiteka ati mvuye gutambagira isi no kuyizereramo verse 8 says then the lord said to satan have you considered my servant job there is no one on earth like him he is blameless and upright a man who fears god and shuns evil uwiteka arongera baza satana ati Mbese witegereje umugaragu wanje yubu yuko ari nta uhwanye nawe mwisi ko ari umukiranutsi utunganye wubaha imana kandi akirinda ibibi Listen to verse 9 mm. Does does Job fear fear God for nothing Satan replied Verse 10 Have you have you not put a hedge around him that's one and his household that's two and everything he has praise god ngomaze satana subiza uwiteka ati ariko se ugira ngo yubu yubahira imana ubusa ntiwagiye umurinda we 
ntiwagiye uh, umurinda we nizuye ntiwagiye umurinda we aha nizuye yes nibyo atunze byose listen now you have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land yes wahiriye umurimo wa maboko ye namatungo ye agwiriye mu gihugu so the devil himself is giving a testimony he is there to testify what the lord has done for job na satan ubwe arabizi arahari kugira ngo hamirize ibyimana yakoreye yubu the same kind of testimony the devil gave on job's behalf let it be given by him for you deka ubwo buhamya satan yatangiye yubu nawe abugutangire mu izina rya Yesu do you think job worships god in vain for nothing ese wa utekereza yuko yubu yakubahira uwiteka ubusa haven't you built a hedge around his life ni wamushiriyeho uburinzi ni wamurinze we nubuzima bwe haven't you built a hedge of protection around his uh, entire household ni washize ho uburinzi kunzu ya kurugo rwe what about his belongings no ne si byatunze all his properties they are protected bitungoye I, I, i can't touch nothing nta na kimwe nageraho do, do you know how many times i've tried to attack and destroy and and i fail uzishuro nagerageje kumusenya nka se ngo nsenye umubiri we senye umuryango we senye be the praise and the glory ubahiro kibicyo umwami imana there is a hedge of protection not only around your life not only around your household but even around your belongings everything that comes to you is entirely protected haru burinzi bukomeye kubuzima bwawe nka hibyo bidahagije uburinzi buri no kumitungo yawe ndetse buri no kumuryango wawe so even though you go through the valley of the shadow of death Dero nubwo wanyura mu gikombe cy'igicucu cy'urupfu. Fear no evil. Nagugomba gutinya ikibicyo. The Lord is with you. Uwiteka Imana ari kumwe nawe. He is with you. Ari kumwe nawe. Don't fear those who threaten. Witerwa ubwoba nabo bagukangisha. You are alive today not because they 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 the they, 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 they have repented. Ntabwo uri muzima kubera yuko bari abagutera ubwoba bari abagome bihanye They have always tried to harm you but they have failed Buri gihe bagambiraga imigambi yo kukurwanya no kukugirira nabi ariko bagiye bananirwa There is a hedge around your life Nuko bera ko hari urukuta rw'uburinzi kubuzima Your sons and your daughters are protected Abahungu bawe n'abakobwa bawe bararinzwe Your income is protected Umutungo wa urarinzwe Praise God Icyo bayiro kibikira Everything is protected Ibyawe byose biri ho uburinzi Maybe sometimes all we need to do to understand is how to activate this protection ye ndicyo ukeneye kumenya nuburyo washobora gukongeza cyangwa wakwatsa ubwo burinzi ukabubona and i'm going to mention some of these things on sunday kandi bingibi nzabivuga ku cyumweru but the, the things that we possess and don't even know how to use or activate them and therefore we miss the blessings from them Hari ibintu tuba dutunze ariko kubera ko tutazi uburyo twabikoresha kugira ngo biza no mugisha w'Imana bituma duhomba uwo mugisha w'Imana But you are protected you are covered under the blood Ari kurarinzwe uhishwe mu maraso y'Imana w'intama w'Imana You will go through the valley of the shadow of death but you not fear Uzanyura mu gikombe cy'igicucuro cy'urupfu ariko ibyo ntibizagutera ubwoba We need to know how to activate some of these blessings Tugomba kumenya ni gute twashobora kwakira iyi migisha y'Imana. To God be the praise and the glory. So that is that is a responsibility that is a that is a responsibility of uh, the shepherd uh, responsibility number 5. Iyo rero ni ishingano ya gatanu y'umungeri ku buzima bwawe. This is protection. Ibi rero ni uburinzi bw'Imana. We are protected, we are covered. Turarinzwe, turarinzwe. We are covered under the blood. Turarinzwe mu maraso y'Imana w'intama w'Imana. No wicked one can ever harm us. Kandi nta munyabyaha, nta munyabibi wese wa wagira icyo dukora. Number 6. Icyagatandatu. We're going to get it from the same verse. Tugiye kugikura muri iyo mirongo nubundi. Verse 5 still. Umurongo wa gatandatu wo tukiriho wo 
I think it was four. It says, uh, even though it was not fear, not evil. For you are with me. Okay? Mm. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Your rod to protect and your staff to guide. So I think I mentioned about, I, I talked uh, about protection. This time I'm going to talk about guidance. Your staff guides. Now, these are two different kinds of sticks. The rod is, is a huge piece of stick. Now this one is used to defend yourself. But now the staff have you seen some blind people? They always hold a kind of stick. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a weapon, but it helps them to find their way. So he he's mentioning two kinds of, of sticks. The first one is the rod. The rod is for protection or uh, defense, self-defense. And again, he talks about he mentions the staff. The staff is for guidance to 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 be able to find your way through the thick and the thin, through the darkness. You are able to navigate through. Towards your destiny. The Lord provides guidance for us. Look at the children of Israel. Now, these guys had been had been living in, in captivity under the pharaohs in Egypt uh, for over 400 years. Now, these, these are over four generations. In fact, not only Moses was he born there, even his father was born there, even his grandfather was born there. Maybe, I don't know for the great grandfather, but perhaps was, he was even himself was born there, perhaps. Now, none of them had ever been to Canaan. Apart from Moses, his father before he died had never stepped a foot in Canaan. Not even his grandfather had been there. Perhaps even his great grandfather had been, not <inaudible> even had been there. Now here comes the Lord. His commission in Moses, arise and lead my people. Go to Pharaoh, command, command him to let my people go. Go to the promised land, the land I gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let them go and offer sacrifices to me there. 
Aha rero Imana iraje ihagurukije Mose utazi icyo gihugu iramubwiye ngo ni wowe ugiye kuyobora buno bwoko genda ubwire Farao areko urubwoko bwanje bugende kuntambira ibitambo bajye mu gihugu nasezeranyije Is Abraham Isaka na Yakobo To cut the long story short Inkuru ni ndende ariko twishize mu bugufi The people were released Abantu bararekuwe After many signs and wonders so they were released. And they began to move. But how many of these people knew the way? None. Ariko se ni bande bari bazikanani bakamenya n'inzira ibavana mu gihugu cy'a Misiri kabagezayo None Nta numwe No one had been there Nta wari warigezajeyo So how would they know the way Ni gute rero bari bumenye inzira ibajyana mu gihugu cy'a How would they know the way Ni gute bari buhamenye The Lord was their guide Imana yabahagurukije niyo yababereye umuyobozi This is why the Bible says that at night he could provide a pillar of fire and uh, and during that time he could provide a cloud it was a, 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 a pit of cloud niyo mpamvu biri tubwira ngo ninjoro imana yahagaraga nk'inkingi y'umuriro ariko kumanywa ikababera inkingi y'igicu this was was something that the lord had provided for them to always guide them as they were moving. Uburero ni uburyo Imana yari yabashiriyeho kugira ngo bashobore kumenya inzira bamenye icyerekezo cyaho bajya kuko nti bari bahazi. Even though most of them perished on the way. Nubwo benshi bari mbukiye mu butayu bari mu nzira. But the the, the 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 reason of their perishing was a different one. It's because they doubted, they murmured, they grumbled. That's why and that's how they perished on the way in the wilderness. Icyatumye barimbukira mu butayu suko Imana yari yananiwe kubayobora ahubwo nuko bitotombye bakivovota bakagomera uwiteka. But you will never hear them that somehow they missed their way. Because the Lord was always guiding them. Every step they could take, the Lord was with them. He was their guide. He is our guide. The Bible says my feet will never slumber. No, 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 no. Stumble. Why? The Lord is my light. The Lord is my guide. He determines every way, every step I should take. He is my guide. He guided them, he led them. Look at the wise men. Who came to see Jesus when he was born? The Bible says that they saw his star. And they followed the star. From the east. They followed the star. Until they, re they reached the palace of Herod. They went to ask for direction. But remember, from the time they set off, it was not Herod who had directed them. So here, I think they are now applying their techniques. They are applying their technical know-how. They, they, they are trying to involve man instead of entirely depending upon God. So they, they, they inquired from Herod. Where, where, where is the king who has been born? And then Herod was like, what? Who, who is that? So they said, now we saw his star because it, it was written that he will be born somewhere in Bethlehem. So we saw his star. We know he must have been born. So they said, oh, And then Herod told them, okay, keep on finding, keep on, keep on looking for that, 
that, that king, when you find him, tell me, I also want to come and worship. Kumbe wanted to come and sort her. No, no, I rather have a token. How go Jewe Mazi, I come over Mukomez and Nimu Hamenya, Muzakum Grananja Kujangonsu, and Mammy Wavutz and Shobore Kumuran. When they left the palace of Herod, the star was still there waiting for them. Bafu ye kwa Herodi, inye nyeri yu mwami wavuti, ya riji hagazi ba tejereje kujia wa kikomezi wa yogozi. So sometimes we use our wisdom, we use our strength, we try to consult uh, our, our friends and everything. The star remains there. When you turn around, when you repent, the star is waiting for you. Inshuro nyishi lero, harihu kwa tuvangirwa, tugashaka kujishina, mawa tuta... Kujisha inama ba abataka tujiri inama. Ariko inyenyeri umuyobozi abachidu tejereje. Inyenyeri ya riji hariba tejereje kujira ngiba yobozi. The star was still there waiting for them. Inyenyeri ya riya hagaze. And, Iba when, and when they turned and left Pharaoh's palace, they saw the star, they followed it till they reached the place where the Messiah, the king, was born. So that's how the Lord guides us. That's how He leads us. He sends His Holy Spirit to lead us in a still small voice. But, but sometimes we want to, to, to run and, uh, and do what we know. So it is his staff that guides and leads us. Imagine you have two kinds of sticks in your hands. In your right hand you have a rod that will be able to fight back when you are attacked. And in your left hand, you have uh, this staff which will guide you, which will help you to, to navigate your way. So we are Let's move on. Verse 5 says what? It says, uh, okay, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. This is provision. This is provision. I won't take much time on this because I already mentioned provision in, in, uh, in the uh, uh, response bit number one. Then the seventh one says, you anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. So the shepherd anoints us with fresh oil. I think this will take a, a lot of time to, to explain how important oil is. Now for the ancient shepherds, or even travelers, they used to move with oil. Because they, they, they lived in desert areas. And uh, there were two things. There was the wind. And the wind was a bit uh, warm or hot even. And there was also the sunshine. So the, both this wind and the sunshine and the heat actually and the heat was not favorable for their skins. 
kubera rero ubushuye bwinshi bwizuba ndetse n'urugendo rwerure mu butayu kubera umusenyi habagahari akumagara cyane and then that's why they used to walk with what uh, with oil nico cyatumaga rero bitwaza imperezo z'amavuta to smear the oil on their skin to soften it kugira ngo bashobore kwisiga kumuzabo ze kumagara ngo zanjirike so that that's why oil was very important in those days niyo mpamvu rero amavuta cyari ikintu kingenzi muri mu gihe cyabo and then number two, the oil was used for for uh for commissioning purposes being anointed with oil could mean uh gi be, being given responsibility being commissioned be, being given power and so forth ikindi cyakabira amavuta yakoraga nuko amavuta bayesukaga ku muntu iyo yarabaga hawe inshingano agahabwa ubutware bwo gukora inshingano runaka atumwe gukora that's why the bible says uh, in the book of isaiah that the anointing breaks the yoke niyo mpamvu dusoma mu gitabo cyayo cyaye saya ngo amavuta acaga guri ngo yi when someone has been anointed every burden every yoke all the chains are broken off iyo umuntu yabagarera sizwa amavuta ingo yizose iminyururu yose ubu bata bwose bwaracaga gurikaga bukava ku buzima bwe how many lords do you carry ese ni mitwaro ingana iki wikoreye your heart is heavy with burdens umutima wawe uremerejwe ni mitwaro ingana iki last time i talked about uh, healing of the broken hearts Ubushize navuze kugukira ibikomere byo mu mitima. But what brings that healing? Ariko se niki kizana uko gukira ku mutima. It is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Na mavuta nugusigwa ku mwuka we. When the Lord begins to anoint your life, all the lords, all the chains, all the burdens are removed from your shoulders iyi mani tangiye kugusiga ikakuzuza amafuta y'umwuka wera ingo yizose iminyururu yose ibyakuremereraga byose biracika gurika bikava ku buzima bwa cry for the anointing dirira hamagara imani guha amavuta seek the anointing shakisha amavuta yima your life will never be the same ubuzima bwawe ntago bwaga umukobwa ari buri even the devil will stop playing games on your head ndetse na satan ubwe azarekera ugukina iyo mikino ye ku buzima bwawe the devil does not fear you ntago satan agutinya he fears christ in you atinya kristo uri muri wowe and he also fears his anointing upon you kanda tinya namavuta y'imana ari ku buzima bwawe an anointed person is a tremendous person umuntu sizwe ni umuntu udasanzwe the anointing of the holy ghost does wonders in life amavuta y'imana akora ibimenyetso nibitangaza mu buzima bwo The devil will stop to play games on you when the anointing comes upon your life Satan azarekera kugukina imikina kira ku buzima bwawe ijya amafuta y'Imana azaba kuriho One word from your mouth when you are anointed will be enough to drive away a thousand demons Ijambo rimwe mu kanwa kawe usizwe rizaba rihagije kugira ngo abadayimoni bihumbi n'ibihumba gize bigwiri Sometimes a hundred a group of 100 prayer warriors uh, uh, they will come and try to chase one demon for a whole night and they won't succeed ushobora kuba naho abasenzi nk'igihumbi baza bagakesha ijoro ryose birukana umuzimu umwe mu muntu but a single person who is anointed, who is anointed it will not require you to pray for for a whole night one single person who is anointed we speak a word to a region of demons and they will free in a twinkling of an eye ariko umuntu umwe usizwe ufite amafuta y'Imana muri we ntago bizamusaba ijoro ryose ahubwo azavuga ijambo rimwe abwira ingabo za madayimoni asohokemo agenda the anointing breaks the yoke amafuta y'Imana acaga guri ngo yi the anointing breaks strong satanic pillars Amafta y'Imana acaga guri bihome umwanzi aba yarubatse. The anointing can cause earthquake in the underground world. Amafta y'Imana yateze umushitsi mwisi yo kwa Satani. A single anointed 
person with, with cause chaos in the forces of darkness. The devil become confused. You will disconnect all the networks in hell. One hour of prayer in the presence of the Lord by an anointed person means means a lot, means a lot in the, in the kingdom of hell. The Bible says, he anoints my head with oil. And my cup overflows. It's my prayer that your cup will always overflow with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let your cup overflow in the name of Jesus. And you will be able to drive back the forces of wickedness. Receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing is known for pastors, bishop, apostles, and, and all the preachers. The anointing is known for pastors, that's when only three people were anointed and these people could used to represent others. It was the kings, the prophets, and the priests. So these people were representing the entire society. But now Jesus on the cross, the Bible says that the, the curtain that was dividing the holy place and the whole of holies was torn into two. Meaning that it was not only the high priest who was allowed in the Holy of Holies, but all who have been redeemed, they are welcome. They are free to enter. They can have the access. So we are all anointed. It's not only the priests. It's only the kings. All the redeemed. All the children of God. They have been offered this accessibility. They have been granted this chance of going to the whole of holies. He anoints my head with oil and my cup runs over. To God be the praise and the glory. To God be the praise and the glory. In the name of Jesus. I will mention the last thing. Goodness and mercy. I think we find that in verse 6. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. The Lord will be good to you. And he will be merciful to you. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. He will be good. He will show his goodness to you in the land of the living. This is his promise to you. And he will be merciful. We are humans. We sin. We stumble. We make mistakes. We do this and that which are not good in his presence. But his mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Your, what, what, what is the use of his mercy? 
akamaro kimbabazi zimana nakai. To forgive you when you repent. Kujira ngo ubabari rugwecha je watrumu ye. To be brought back. Kujira ngo usanwe ugaruzwe mungu. The Lord will always extend his hand of mercy to you. Imani zahori kura mburiri viganza jyo jimbabazi. You will be brought back. Uzahori ugaru rugwa murugo. Come on, to God be the praise. Hallelujah. He said, Surely, Nukuri. there is no doubt in this. Actually, he's like swearing. Surely, Nukuri. Oh, hallelujah. You, you, you used to hear Jesus could say, Verily, verily, I say unto you. Murabizi Yesu yajaga kesha vuga ati nukuri nukuri ndababwira ukuri yuko So why could you say such such statements Kubera iki byasabaga Yesu kurahira He was like to assure, to assure these people that what I'm going to tell you is not a lie at all Ibi byari kugira ngo mugira kwemezwa kudashidika ngwaho yuko icyo giye kuvuga ari ukuri of course, Jesus never lied at all. But because human beings are, are, are delayed to believe, so that's why Jesus could uh, like begin to swear. Verily, very, no, I tell you. No, no, no. Just to, to, to make them uh, believe. So even here, the same says surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will abide in the house of the Lord now on Sunday I will be talking about that only abiding in the house of the Lord now within all uh, uh, in all these verses that I have read from verse 1 to verse 6, part 1. It is showing us the responsibilities of a shepherd. The last part of verse 6 shows us the responsibility of the sheep. I will dwell I. I. It's now I who is talking. I will dwell in the house of the Lord. We shall come to that. But goodness and mercy shall follow you. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord. This is my prayer today. Tonight. Let the mercy, let the, let, let the hand let the merciful hand of God be extended forth to you. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's not by your, your own experience. It's not the one you know. It's not about your efforts. It's the goodness. It's the mercy of Jehovah God. May the Lord abundantly bless you. Remember he is your shepherd. And all the eight responsibilities I have mentioned in this sermon series. As you pray, begin to, to, to claim each one of them. You know, sometimes when people begin to pray, the devil will deceive them and tell them that they are not worthy. And that has always been the point of their quitting. Remember the Bible says goodness and mercy, mercy shall follow me, mercy shall follow me. The Lord is merciful and very forgiving. A certain believer may uh, committed a sin and then he repented with brokenness and uh, even with tears. Then the devil came to him. 
he began to whisper to him. And so you were there, you think you have been forgiven. Do you know how bad and how heavy the sin you have, you have committed is? You cannot be forgiven. They're even, they're even those people who, who receive such messages from the devil. And the devil asks them, how do you know if it is not the other unforgivable sin which Jesus uh, mentioned that you did? And people struggle. Sometimes you, you see people praying and, and weeping and, and you think that they have been touched by the Holy Spirit. Kumbe, they have been whispered to by the, by the devil. So this particular brother the devil came to him and said, how do you know? You cannot be forgiven. And then he had a revelation uh, uh, of uh, a certain verse which is in the book of John, uh, 1 John. It says, if we say that we have no sin, uh, we deceive ourselves and we make him lie. But if we sin and repent, he is faithful to forgive our sins. So after having read that verse, the young man got hold of his Bible. He was lying on his bed. He opened the very verse I, I, I just mentioned. So he lowered, he lowered his hand uh, with, with uh, an open Bible uh, under, under the bed, towards under the bed. And told the devil, now read it for yourself. Read the verse for yourself. <laughs> the Lord is merciful. To God be the praise. There are those of you who are in deep valleys of, of, of sin. And you think you can never be accepted by the Lord. That is a lie. Do you know what they call Semu Hanuka? A huge lie. A huge lie. Tell the devil, the Lord is my father. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will abide in the house of the Lord. Receive the mercies of God and receive the blessing of God. Receive the goodness of God. May you flourish in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you tonight. The unfolding of your word brings light. And it gives understanding to the simple. I'm praying in the name of Jesus. You have been been our shield from day one. You have been our protector from day one. You have been our provider since day one. You have been our guide since day one. You have lifted us, O oh God. You have been our shepherd from the very beginning. You will never leave us or forsake us. You will always provide for us. You will always protect us. You will always guide us. You will always light our way. You 
Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let your goodness, let your mercy follow us, oh my God. Open the eyes of our understanding. May we see your glory. May we see your goodness. And your mercy following us. Lord, I'm praying for your people. I'm praying for your church. Stretch out your mighty hand. Touch every single one of them. Reach them according to their needs. Everyone has a point of need. Every one of them has an area where they need you terribly. Lord, I pray, reach down and touch every one of them. Heal the sick. Provide guidance for those that are confused. Transform lives. Let your will be done. Bless your people. Encourage your people. Your will be done. Your kingdom come. In the name of Jesus. Somebody magnify the Lord with me. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. And amen. Amen. Receive the praise, Jesus. Thank you for being with us. It's a pleasure to have you on board. Before we end, before we conclude, I, I, I would like us to, to give our tithes, to bring our tithes, to give our offerings, to sow our seeds in the kingdom, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. Remember, this is a fertile ground. There is no seed you will ever plant in the house of God and it will, it will fail to germinate. So, so uh, get hold of your phone. I know we, uh, we, we most of these times we, we use our mobile phones to tithe, to sow seeds, to give offerings. We have two numbers through which we give our offerings and tithes. The first number, the first number is a mobile number, mobile phone number. So you use this when you are using uh, a, a mobile money. Uh, or what remit? Uh, you use that number. It is down there before you at the screen. Your screen. You can see the number. So please, please, please use that number. Use that number in the name of Jesus. And the next number is, uh, is a bank account number. You can still either use your phone or you can go and deposit this, this amount of the any amount of money on on uh, to to this to this uh, what this this bank account. 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 bank transfer payment order. All those. This is a bank of Kigali account number. May God bless you so much. The same, the, 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 also that number is visible on your screen. You can, you can read it. It is there. So both of these numbers are there. Uh, the other number is 0704 Let's go ahead. Let me give you one or two minutes and then you do the transaction. God bless.
Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I hope uh, you, 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 are, you are done. Those who are still transacting, please go ahead. Thank you. Let's pray as we wind up tonight. This evening, Lord, I pray, may, may you bless your people. As you promised in your word, out of what you give you, you gave them, they have given back to you. They are proving to you that they love you. And they honor and obey your word. So, Father, bless them in, in return. The hedge of protection that, we, that, that, that even the devil knew, let it be, be built around their lives, their households, and their belongings. Everything they do, let it prosper. I thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I once again say thank you for being on board, for being with us. Until, until next time, God bless. Don't forget to be with us on Sunday, Sunday morning, when I will be uh, sharing with you the responsibilities of the sheep or the flock. God bless you. Amen. Amen.